Krishna Anand is an art historian and museologist who has helped in the restoration and chronicling of Indian art as well as creating a breed of professional art researchers. Scholars from India and abroad have eagerly sought his evaluation of their work. His association with Bharat Kala Bhavan at Banaras Hindu University, Varanasi has provided a modern outlook to the discipline of art history in India. Birth. <inaudible> 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 Anand Krishna was born on 12 November 1925 into a family of Varanasi that traced its lineage to Patani Mal whose forebears served as Dewans to Mughal courts and British East India Company. Rai Patani Mal had been granted mansab of 5,000 and control of territories in central and western Bihar. While branches of the family settled at Allahabad, Patna, Rai Patani Mal chose Varanasi to settle down and set up his library there. The collection of jewels, precious objects and works of art from his library were magnanimously donated to Bharat Kala Bhavan at Banaras Hindu University. Rai Krishnadasa, father of Anand Krishna, inherited the aesthetic sensibilities of his grandfather. He grew up surrounded by scholars of Persian, Sanskrit and English. His grandmother was the paternal aunt of Bharatandu Harishchandra the great linguist and literateur who standardized the national language of India, Hindi. His home was a resort to intellectuals, scholars and artistes. Early influence Growing up in the ancestral Haveli, Shanti Kutir, was itself education for Anand. The red turbaned attendants, paintings and statues adorning the long galleries of the mansion and evenings afire with banter of artistes, poets, historians and musicians were all gradually training him for his future role. Poetry reading was a regular affair as were music session. With such personages as Hario G, Babu Shyam Sundar Das, Acharya Shukla, Keshav Prasad Misra, art historians like Dr. Modi Chandra and Dr. Birbal Sani, historian Dr. Altakar, artists like Ostad Ram Prasad, Omkarnath Thakur or Hirabai Badodekar present in the house on any given day, Anand's interest and involvement with art forms intensified. <laughs> Bolstering experience His own experience has its solid foundation in his illustrious father Padma Vibhushan Rai Krishnadas's intimate knowledge and deep involvement in these areas. He grew up with the distinguished art collection of Bharat Kala Bhavan the renowned Indian art museum in Banaras Hindu University, Varanasi, which was founded by Rai Krishnadasa G and under the shadow of top Hindi literatures, painters, musicians et al., a solid base which he later enriched with his own experience. Diversity in creativity Professor Rai Anand Krishna—known to his intimates as Raja Bhaiya—is a well-known art and museum specialist, his creativity goes back to 1944, a long span of six decades. Besides his own contribution in the fields of Indian painting, sculpture and decorative minor arts, he has significantly contributed to the world of Indian music. Based in Varanasi, a seat of Indian classical music, M. Sushans and scholars from P. T. Omkarnath Thakur, Dr. B. R. Diodar, Dr. Lomani Misra to artists like P. T. Mahadeo Mishra, Ostad Bismillah Khan, Anokalal Mishra, Dr. N. Rajam were personally known to him. His immense and deep knowledge of not only Indian art and heritage but also every facet of human culture together with his accessible and kind personality make him a standing humanist, dear to a whole generation of Indian art students who considered him his guru. <laughs> Exploring fundamentals Anand Krishna's writings are basic to the study of Indian art history, and his teaching and lectures throughout India, Europe, and America have affected and influenced generations of students and scholars. His knowledge of art dealers, with many of whom his family has maintained close friendship, the contacts he has maintained since his youth with the greatest creative minds and talents in India, and his close relationships with such internationally important scholars as W.G. 
Archer, who was one of his doctoral thesis examiners, Grace Morley, Robert Skelton, Carl J. Kandalavala, Sivaramamurti, Modi Chandra, etc., places Anand Krishna at the center of the development of the study of the arts in India. <laughs> Humor, distinctive trait Nonetheless, these extraordinary professional achievements do not reveal the humor, even the mischievousness of Anand Krishna. He wears his scholarship, and his family history, lightly. Few scholars are as modest and self-effacing, as unpretentious in dress and bearing, as devout, and as spirited as Anand Krishna. His presence and friendship has greatly enhanced a multitude of lives. Felicitation. Recently a felicitation volume Ananda Vanna of Indian Art on Dr. Anand Krishna was published. Though not lacking in biographical details, the volume carries peer-reviewed research articles in three sections. There are 16 papers under section, BCE till 11th century, 27 under section, 11th to 19th century and 13 in the final section of the book, 20th century and modern age. All contributors had gained insight or discussed their research with Dr. Anand Krishna. Their interaction with the scholar, Raya Nand Krishna also finds space in the volume. 